Hi, Amy. It's Rolf Johnson, Al Johnson Swedish Restaurant. Uh, here we are in Sister Bay, and today I'm going to be making a pickled herring. It's one of our more popular delicacies here, and somebody says, oh, what do you have that's Swedish on the menu? A lot of things. Well, this is one of the things I'll point to most likely. Uh, we make all our own pickled herring. We get it from Norway. It's in a salt brine. I took the liberty already to dice this up in about quarter-inch tidbits, and uh, it's practically unedible now unless you like salty herring but what we're gonna do is put together a ridiculously simple simple recipe this is a simple sugar this is uh, I mixed this earlier in the week and how I mix it is 72 pounds of sugar to six gallons of vinegar if you want to do it at home that's a reduction of 12 pounds of sugar to one gallon of vinegar and once you have your ingredients of onions, allspice, and your simple sugar, and make a lot of this, because you can use this for pasta salads, pickled beets, pickled just about anything. It's all it is, is a handful of herring, handful of onions, a little bit of whole allspice, a little bit of the solution, and do the procedure again. And just do it in layers like this. And again, like I said, it's a ridiculously simple recipe. Once you make pickled herring, it lasts virtually forever. We go through it all within a month or two time. But you also have to let it pickle. And that takes about a month. Normally I do this in 50-gallon drums. So we're here late at night till 3 in the morning doing this. But I made a smaller batch for you viewers at home, and that's it. I'll put that in the refrigerator. About uh, a month from now, it'll be ready to go. If you come to Al Johnson's and order a herring plate, we'll dish it up Scandinavian style, which we'll serve with our Scandinavian cheeses, smoked Gouda, Swedish brick, and I believe this is uh, Danish Swish. Uh, your pickled herring, your pickled beets, again, versatile solution. We use the same uh, pickling solution for the beets, cottage cheese, and tomatoes. There you have it. Herring plate, Al Johnson's.